There's no doubt my dogs are dorks. But uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about homesteading and passing stuff on to your kids. Now, uh, that's kind of a complex thing, uh, especially nowadays, especially with taxes and things that are doing. But uh, uh, if I had children that were younger, they would be helping out with all the chores and helping out with the animals and stuff, which I, I did have that at one time when we had a game bird farm. And one of my kids kind of went that direction and another one uh, loved the experience but went a different direction just because the way the cards were dealt. <coughs> well, latest, late, sorry about the wind, it's Central Oregon. <coughs> the latest thing, uh, I've been seeing a lot about us like us older folks that were fortunate enough to have the uh, the means to buy property and stuff like that. Now, granted, I didn't buy uh, a big place where I could have cattle and things like that. I have five acres, and uh, uh, you guys actually never get to see really all of it. And uh, we're going to take a peek at some of it. But what I wanted to talk about is, do I build us up? with hopes that one of my kids uh, take it over and uh, when I look at the family or Sherry's folks that had this property before me they didn't really think that way about their kids they had more of the kids will go off and do what they're gonna do and we're just gonna do what we're gonna do and uh, there's nothing wrong with that but it didn't turn out that way Hold on here. I gotta get this gate open. Okay, I got this thing open. This is the rest of our property A lot more so uh, Thought I'd just take you back here and the dogs like to run around here and uh, my neighbor just put a new fence up over here and uh, Actually haven't seen it since it was done and no, I'm not worried about whether he got it just right and uh, Anyway, but uh, this is what it looks like back here and you know if I ever want to put a horse or some sheep and, and you guys are used to seeing everything from the other side uh, uh, obviously you'd have to clear this out a little bit there's no grass or anything there's cheat grass stuff but getting back to the subject of building a homestead for your family Belle Cinder come <laughs> come here guys come 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 Belle there's Belle. Gosh, that dog likes to run. And our property lines are not lined up back here, so uh, this guy did his fence for to keep his dog from getting in trouble, and uh, kind of what we do. And uh, back there, here's where he—it's kind of soft back here. You see how soft it is? We have really poor soil. But uh, our property goes along here. I have more on the other side. Come here, guys. Come. For dogs that are in gates all the time, my two dogs do pretty good. But from here down to here, uh, I would have to put a fence from here to the corner. I'm actually off my property for a little bit here to the corner over here I could fence this off easy come on kids come and uh, oh there's more but uh I mean my kids might want to have a horse or sheep or goats this would be perfect not really in my uh, plans we'll see uh, but I'm older. Bell, come. Um, so do you build up your homestead for yourself? Do you keep your kids in mind? When I say kids, my kids are older. But, uh, you know, they're all wrapped up in the rat race. And just like Sherry and I, 
over time that rat race was getting insane sorry about the wind and so we made changes slowed down a little bit decided it was more in life than eating hundred dollar dinners at a restaurant going to the casino every weekend doing expensive trips we hardly leave the house at all anymore got things to do and uh, our kids will get that way too both of them have children so they're in that keep up with the kids keep up with the bills keep up with the health care try to keep an income luckily all my kids haven't been a victim of all this uh, uh, cancel people losing their jobs so talk a little more this uh, guy here uh, our property line goes back there and all this down here is all ours, all ours too I don't know if I'll ever use it Bell send her come and if I can keep my two troops together it's good to see them run and there's room back here we got a lot of deer and critters back here and coyotes and uh, here they come and there they go <laughs> this full-time wrestling so anyway, I kind of want to give you an idea what the property was like outside of our property uh, of our fence and Sherry's dad designed it that way so he could keep the deer out of the gardens and stuff Cinder, Bell, come! Let's go! See if we can get my troops back here. And, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, circumstances change. So if I ask my kids right now, would you want this property when we die? And it might be a yes or no. Hey, Belle, Cinder, let's go! Come on! Come! Come! Let's go! Come on, guys! Come on! You guys are dawdling. Come on! Come! Let's go! Get in here! Get in here! Come on! <laughs> here they come! Come on, guys! There's so many smells. I can hardly keep their attention. Come on, guys! Come, come, come! Come! Come on, Cinder! Let's go! Get in here! Get in here! Gosh! Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle! Come on! Let's go! Come! Come! come Jeez. like herding cats let me get this gate closed okay I'm back I got the <laughs> gate closed and the critters back in here but uh yeah I mean it's uh our homestead isn't like Justin Rhodes or some of these other guys where they've got to clear the land and all that I mean we still got if I was going to do anything with that property back there Maybe a lot of tractor work. I'd probably have to plant some grass or something back there, get water to it. Uh, and <laughs> getting back to the subject at hand, do we build our homestead up to try to keep it in the family? So our goal is we got siding in this house that'll last two generations. We put a 40 year roof on this house. And uh, we're making improvements for generator backups, fixtures, things like that. And uh, they'll outlive me and Sherry. So it was one of two things. Either our kids, when we move on, inherit this, and maybe they want this lifestyle. Or when they get this, it will be worth a good chunk of change and they can just sell it and divide up the money and do what they want i'd love to see one of them live buy out half and you know um and take this over that would be really cool and it'd be a great lifestyle for them and both of my kids as teenagers grew up here in central oregon that's when we had the game bird farm so they have it in their blood the question is do you you think they're going to want this place? <clears throat> and do I, as a parent, continue to improve it and add things to it 
that when my kids get it and their grandkids and all that stuff can say their grandpa and grandmother built this and this is part of our family it'd be the third generation in this location they'll probably go we got to do more of that pond <laughs> anyway so uh we've got more buildings to put on here more uh technology to put on here and uh and i know a lot of you guys are wondering why haven't we put these barrels back they weigh a ton and i swear i gotta get my son over here <laughs> and some volunteers it took everything we could do to move that thing and we were hurting afterwards so we're waiting on these two until we get some more manpower it's amazing how heavy those get with dirt in them but uh anyway so thinking out loud seeing other shows about uh keeping property and 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 i remember i was younger and we go hunting in these big thousand acre ranches and i go gosh i'd love to have something like this but the only way you can get it is through inheritance well that's not <laughs> with the tax situation nowadays that's getting hard to do so keeping a family farm or a homestead in the family uh, has its disadvantages depending on what president we have so anyway I'd be curious would if you bought a place like this or something with more uh, grazing land for cattle and stuff would you want to try to keep it in your family and would the rest of your family even want it and uh, I don't know I think about that a lot and uh, you know right now I get kids that are really like I said caught up in the rat race probably aren't aren't that interested in this kind of lifestyle because it's too slow for them and uh, you're caught up in technology and in in the social world but we all know that changes <laughs> so I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> anyway thought I'd have this talk with you thought I'd show you a little bit more of our property and uh I, uh, I hope everything's good with you. Please be safe out there. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Right now, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Anyway, guys, be safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.